When selecting your cane to gouge, be careful to pick a piece that is straight. You will notice that it is easier to see if a piece of cane is bent if you look at it from an angle as you see here in the image. Viewing at a sharp angle magnifies any changes in the cane because they are happening at a shorter distance to the eye. Bowing, twisting, or bending becomes much more apparent. You can use this technique to inspect your shaper tip profile or check to see if your reed is wrapped straight on the staple as well. In this picture, the leftmost piece is straight while the centerpiece is swaybacked and the rightmost piece is humpbacked. The straight piece is the obvious best choice, but surprisingly, the humpback piece on the right could work if it will stay in the bed while being gouged. The ends will want to slip over the cane stops of the bed. The problem with the swayback piece in the center is the sides of the tip will want to open on the reed. Imagine this piece gouged, folded, and shaped. Notice how the tip section of the folded piece of cane will want to spring open. Conversely, the humpback piece to the right will have a tip section of the folded and shaped piece of cane that will want to press into each other, creating tight sides and provide good pitch stability in the reed. This piece, however, may also tend to gouge thinner on the ends since the cane is pressing up into the blade. For this reason, the straight piece of cane to the left is the best choice. There are other possible problems with a piece of cane that should be investigated. This sample shows two pieces of cane that are bent, one to the left and one to the right. There is also a straight piece shown for contrast. You must realize that the gouge contour is basically the cutting blade's edge curve as compared to the bed surface on which the cane is resting. If the cane is not straight, the gouge contour will not yield good symmetric measurements in the cane. No useful reads will come from this scenario. Bent cane is a non-starter. Another possible problem will be a twist in the cane. The cane may twist clockwise or counterclockwise as seen in the center and rightmost pieces shown here. Again, the left piece is straight and is shown for contrast. Ideally, the peak of the gouger blade curve should travel down the center of the cane, the point that measures 0.6 millimeters. If the cane twists, the peak of the gouger blade curve will not stay in the center of the cane as it cuts from end to end. This will result in badly gouged cane and will not produce playable reeds.